Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today we're looking at this 2003 Nissan Altima third generation. This should be the same, if not very similar, for the 2002 to 2006 year models Nissan Altima. The cabin air filter is there to prevent dust, pollen, and other pollutants from entering your car from the outside through the air conditioning or heating system. So the outside air coming in gets cleaned up through this air filter. To get this one out, you're going to open your glove box. It's right behind the glove box. On both sides of the glove box, you have ears that hold the glove box in place when you open it so it doesn't fall onto your knees. But before you get those, you have to remove a string, a retaining string, on the upper left-hand corner. It's coming up right here. I use my right hand to slide my index finger down the side of the glove box, and that pulls the whole clip out. Uh, you'll see when you look at your glove box, there's a larger hole with a little half circle in it that locks the, the tab in place. Now move on to the right side, push inward on this one as well. The glove box should fall right down on the carpet. Don't let it do that so it doesn't break. To get the cabin air filter door off, you have two tabs on the bottom portion of it. Pull up on those tabs. Right after you pull up on the tabs, pull down on the whole door and it should slide out very easily. If you do need a cabin air filter, make sure you look for a link in the description to purchase one. And I should have a link for your OEM replacement and some upgraded cabin air filters to clean the air and get some pollen out and dust out a little bit better. This one is really dirty. These are very commonly overlooked. When you do install your new cabin air filter, you will have a arrow on it on which direction the filter should be placed. Slide it right into the cabin air filter assembly. That should be the blower assembly, I should say. To install the cabin air filter door, you're going to push it in on the top first and then clip the two bottom tabs. Make sure it's slid all the way up and then push your tabs in. Um, didn't go in as easy at first, but really easy. Don't take any effort or don't use effort to push strong because if it's so, it is probably not on there correctly. Your cabin air filter, if it's dirty, can affect the HVAC system inside the vehicle a lot. If it's not blowing too well or if it smells, this might be your problem. You'll see I struggle with that retaining string a little bit, but get your ears pushed into the glove box at first and then reach your hand inside. Use your index finger and the one right next to it, don't know what that finger is, to maneuver the clip into place. You'll slide it into this larger circle and it'll slide more up into the dash and clip into place. This whole job takes less than 10 minutes and like I said, very commonly overlooked. This affects the economy or reliability of the HVAC system, the heating and the cooling. I replace mine three times a year just to keep the cabin air pretty clean. But hopefully this helps you out. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you on the next hopefully helpful video.